Hello, and welcome to the Goblin Gazette. Today, we will be talking about a very exciting topic, the Titans. The Titans are such an important aspect of the story in World of Warcraft, and I am so excited to be talking about them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the adventure. So who or what exactly are the Titans? Well, the Titans are a race of mighty metallic-skinned beings who rose out of the chaos of the universe long ago. They felt that it was their destiny to bring order to the countless worlds in chaos, and to allow the younger races a chance to create their own destinies. Thus the Titans began traveling throughout the great dark beyond, bringing order to these many worlds. They were led by the Pantheon, a group of the strongest and most noble of the Titans. But, as the Titans brought peace and order to the many different worlds, they began to come across truly evil and malevolent beings. These evil demons attempted to corrupt and destroy all that the Titans had worked so hard to build. The Titans decided they needed a warrior to defeat these demons and to prevent them from destroying all that they had done. Thus the Pantheon selected Sargeras. Sargeras was a just and powerful Titan who hated evil and sought to protect the Titans' creations. Sargeras set out on his mission, destroying and imprisoning the many demons he came across. And after performing his mission for thousands of years, Sargeras began to despair. Doubt began to creep into his mind. What if the Titans were not supposed to bring peace and order? What if everything should simply be left in chaos? It felt to Sargeras that that was the case. No matter how hard the Titans worked, these demons continued to corrupt their creations and bring chaos to the worlds the Titans had brought order to. With these thoughts racing through his mind, Sargeras approached the Pantheon. He began to tell them of his troubling thoughts and what he saw, but they tried to persuade him otherwise, and Sargeras would not listen. He left the Pantheon and abandoned his mission, intent on finding his role in the vast universe. The Titans continued on their mission without Sargeras bringing order to the countless worlds they came across. Eventually, they found a planet called Azeroth. On this planet, they found that evil entities, known as Old Gods, kept the planet in a perpetual state of chaos and destruction through their elemental lords who waged a constant war on each other. The Titans, wanting to remake this world in their image, began a war against the elemental lords and banished them to the elemental plane, preventing them from entering Azeroth again. Next, they moved against the Old Gods. They shattered their citadels and eventually killed one of the Old Gods, Yashiraj. But as Yashiraj died, it breathed its breath upon the land, infecting it with its corruption. The Titans, seeing this, realized that the Old Gods had infected the planet to the point that the death of the Old Gods meant the death of Azeroth. The Titans decided instead to lock the Old Gods away deep within the Earth itself. Once they had defeated the Old Gods and their minions, the Titans set about recreating the world in their image. They created mighty mountains and carved out deep seas. They also created many different beings to aid them. The Earthen, the Vrykul, the Mogu, Mechanomes, and Sea Giants. Each of these creatures worked with the Titans to remake the world to give life the opportunity to flourish. The Titans also created mighty watchers to guard over the prisons of the Old Gods to ensure that they never escape, and they created grand complexes to imprison the Old Gods, like Ulduar. They also created failsafes to destroy the planet should it become too corrupted. Once the Titans had completed their work, they decided they needed someone or something to watch over the planet to ensure its growth. Rather than creating their own constructs to do this, they wanted creatures native to the planet to fulfill this role. They selected five protodrakes to watch over the young planet. Alex Straza the Lifebinder, Ysira the Dreamer, Malagos the Spellweaver, Nosdormu the Timeless One, and Naltharion the Earthwarder. To each of these protodrakes, the Titans gave a portion of their power to aid them in their mission to protect the planet. As the Titans moved on from Azeroth, they left one last testament to their power, the Well of Eternity. The Well would empower the planet and help life flourish and grow, and thus the Titans moved on, believing that their work was complete 
and that Azeroth was given a fair chance at life. So the question you may be wondering is where are the Titans now? We actually don't know. They most likely moved on to create new planets in their image, but other than that, not much is certain. The Titans have not returned to Azeroth since they left, or at least that we know of. There have been instances where a Titan creation has actually come back to Azeroth. Algalon the Observer is an example of this. In Ulduar, a failsafe was triggered that signaled Algalon to return, and this is what happened. Stand back, mortals. I am not here to fight you. It is in the universe's best interest to re-originate this planet should my analysis find systemic corruption. Do not interfere. I'll head back to the Archivum and see if I can jam his signal. I might be able to buy us some time while you take care of him. Actions are illogical. All possible results for this encounter have been calculated. The Pantheon will receive the Observer's message regardless of outcome. See your world through my eyes. A universe so vast as to be immeasurable. Incomprehensible even to your greatest minds. I have seen worlds bathed in the Maker's flames, their denizens fading without so much as a whimper. Entire planetary systems born and raised in the time that it takes your mortal hearts to beat once. Yet all throughout, my own heart devoid of emotion, of empathy. I have felt nothing. A million, million lives wasted. Had they all held within them your tenacity? Had they all loved life as you do? Perhaps it is your imperfection, that which grants you free will, that allows you to persevere against all cosmically calculated odds. You prevail where the Titan's own perfect creations have failed. I've rearranged the reply code. Your planet will be spared. I cannot be certain of my own calculations anymore. I lack the strength to transmit the signal. You must hurry. Find a place of power close to the skies. I know just the place. Will you be all right? Based off what Algalon has said, it definitely feels like the Titans are still out there. But in Mist of Pandaria, we aided Raphion in obtaining the heart of Lei Shin. As we gave him the heart, he determined the best way to prevent Lei Shin from returning was to consume his heart. And as he did so, he had a vision. Ah, the heart of a king. The powers of a god. It is filled with titan magic, the very language of creation. Oh, I see them. A million, million worlds glittering in their perfection. But one above all others, 
Oh, oh, we have fallen. We must rebuild the final Titan. Do not forget. It, it is gone. I don't remember any of it. Oh, none of them remember. We have fallen. We must rebuild the final Titan. It doesn't sound like things are going well for the Titans. But what does we have fallen mean? And who is the final Titan? Whatever is going on with them, they must be busy. Our planet has been on the brink of destruction multiple times. The old gods have almost broken out. The Burning Legion has attempted to invade. And Sargeras himself has tried to enter our world. You would think the Titans would show up to help us, but they are nowhere to be found. It is truly one of the great mysteries of World of Warcraft. The Titans, the creators of Azeroth, who can remake worlds and completely destroy evil, are nowhere to be found. In our most dire circumstances, they are absent. Why? Where could they be? Are they dead? Are they off fighting some new evil? Or have they just fallen to the madness that Sargeras did? I guess we will just have to wait and see what Blizzard has in store for us in the future. Alright, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video, and let me pose a question to you. Where do you think the Titans are, and what do you think has happened to them? Thank you so much again, and for today, this is Karthus of the Goblin Gazette, signing off.